blessed be Bali. Hi guys and welcome to my garden. Well, my parents' garden. Um, I thought I'd bring you outside because it's such a beautiful day today. So what are we trying today? It is the 3rd of July today. Tomorrow is the 4th when I will be uploading this. So I thought I would sort of salute to America in a British way. Um, I thought about doing an American beer and I thought no. We were involved as well. So I have got Fuller's Wild River Pacific Pale Ale. It's a can. We haven't done a can yet, so that will be exciting. So what can I tell you about the brewery? Fuller's is a London-based brewery. It is very, very well known in Britain, or at least England. It is possibly one of the biggest, if not the biggest, I think, Green King might be a little bit bigger, I'm not entirely sure, but um, you will find their beers in most pubs, even if it's not a Fuller's pub itself. So the brewery itself sits in London, like I said, and it has a very long history. The brewery as it is now dates back to the 1840s, I think it was the 1840s, and before that it dates all the way back to the time of Oliver Cromwell and the Civil War through various ownerships, but there has been a brew house there for about 350 years. The beer itself, I couldn't find much information on the website about it, um, apart from basically what is on the can itself. It does, however, say on the website that it has several Californian hops and it's heavily influenced by the American Pale Ale movement um, and just the general craft ales that are happening in America itself. I quite like American craft ales. I know there is a huge amount of hipstery snobbery about them, um, but hey, I don't think they're that bad. So what does it say on the can itself? It's very chilled, and to be honest, it's about 28 degrees here, and it's really nice <laughs> to have it cool. So the can itself says, roaringly refreshing pale ale with zesty hops and a dry finish. Brewed by Phyllis Smith and Turner. Uh, in Chiswick Lane in London. So it contains malted barley, so it's not good for you if you are gluten intolerant. And interestingly, it's in Swedish and Finnish underneath. It's 4.5% alcohol, and this can, which is 330, a normal can size in the UK, is 1.5 units. American Pale Ales do tend to be around that percentage. Um, I think I am gonna try and get some stronger ales, even though I personally don't like them. I like that sort of 4.5%. So I'm actually quite excited about this beer. I live on a main road, so I'm really sorry if the audio is bad at this, but I just wanted to come outside. I think it's about time we cracked it open though. Yes, I'm using a brew dog glass. I like these glasses. And no, I didn't steal it. So, crack it open. It's warming up quickly. I have chilled this. It was super chilled. Right, so. Smells very zesty in the can. Ooh. So there we go. It's a light golden color. It's that nice straw color that you should have from a light ale or lager. smells actually quite floral and I wasn't expecting that. So let's give it a taste. Wow. It's sweet citrusy. I can't remember what beer it was that I said had like an orangey citrus to it, but this is almost like a, this is, almost like a a pop a soda it obviously still tastes alcoholic but it almost tastes like a shandy do you know what i mean like if you had a stronger shandy or a, like a, a lager tops it has that citrus but it's a sweet citrus so it almost tastes like lemonade or orangeade i'm liking it though um absolutely perfect on a day like this uh i would serve it straight away though because it's warmed up already just being sat out here whilst i was getting ready to film um 
yeah. I think it's an absolutely stunning, very light, very, very, very light. Like I said, it's very light. It's um, sweeter than a lager, which makes it not so refreshing if that's what you're looking for. But if you do have a sweeter tooth, this is beautiful. I think the website said that you can get this can form, bottle form and in draft, but only in draft, really in their pubs. Honestly, you'll find a pub in your town that is a fuller's, if not several. All in all, I actually think this has been my favourite beer that I've tried. I think I'm going to give this a strong 4.5 stars because it fits perfectly with the day. It's really to my taste, if a little bit sweet, if it wasn't so sweet, it would be a five stars. Um, and I give it a thumbs up. I would definitely try and find this. I found this in Waitrose, but yeah, you should be able to find it in a lot of other places. If you have enjoyed this episode, then you should hit subscribe. I upload a new review every Wednesday about local beers, exotic beers, all sorts of beers. I am going to do a cider one soon, I think. You can't have sun without cider. So you should definitely stick around and subscribe for that. Don't forget to give this comment a thumbs up and leave a comment below wishing everyone a happy Independence Day for America. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye.